Oh, these are seven dollar tournaments, by the way. And um, I started a poker goals and challenges thread in um, two plus two, um, where I'm basically going to start playing at the sevens, which I just did this week. And I'm going to st stick to strict bankroll management, where I where I will move up when I have 50 binds for the next level, and I'll move down every time I have 30 binds for the prior level. So if I go on a 20 buy and downswing immediately, I'll be moving down immediately. So um, some strict bankroll guidelines to follow, and it can be I think it'll be a pretty fun challenge. Uh, usually I would float on table two here, but his sizing makes it a little bit, um, a little bit, a bit less optimal, a bit less profitable. Um, I think it's still super close. I think I think either way could be fine. Considering we're readless here, it's hard to determine uh, with real accuracy whether or not it's a good choice. And I'm basically dumping the turn there always. Uh, on the left table, I think I'm gonna definitely call two barrels, and I'm gonna have a tough time calling a third. Um, being that he, I mean, he could, he's still got tons of draws in his range potentially, um, and his bet sizing here on the river does not look like a nine x hand, which is a little bit, uh, which is very interesting. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel, and that's pretty poorly played on his part, I would say. Um, I, I just think his bet sizing is not good there with draws. With all those draws, he should be betting larger in the first place. And on the river there, um, I think he could also get more value than what he did. On table one, I get check called, which looks like probably a weak queen or ace-x. Um, ace-x would be three betting though, so a weak queen or, I don't know, jack-10. So I'm not really liking my hand over there. I'm, th I'm going to check it down and expect to lose. Really surprised he doesn't three bet an ace there since he's already three bet like three or four times. He seems to like to three bet. So uh, when he gets min raised with versus like a 13, 14, 15 big blind stack, it's just really weird that he didn't uh, do that. So whatever, it's part of his potential range. I think I'm going to raise and get it in here with king eight since again, he has three bet a decent amount so far. And because I'm not able to talk about everything, if you have questions about anything specific um, that I don't go over, just post those in the comments because I, I can already see a few things that I don't have time to go into, like like um, why I min-raised king-queen but shoved um, uh, the hand before it that was you know a bit weaker. There's some little details. Why would I not raise king-8 here? The reason for not raising king-8 on the flop is because um, he's not going to fold his draws and crap anyway, so it's not like I'm. A, I don't need to worry about what price I'm getting or what price he's getting for his draws because, at that point, like I want my hand, I want the chips to go in no matter what, no matter when and how possible. And um, he, on the other hand, is going to have a lot of like random crap like what he just showed up with. So I think by raising the flop there, you get w just too many folds, or at least at least more folds than 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 you get just by calling and then getting it in on turns like we did there. King seven, I mean, really standard for 10 big blinds. Um, I think min raise calling is fine too, especially depending on the player type you happen to be going against. Uh, I'm gonna try a little limp action here. Uh, it's really thin for shoving purposes, so um, I really don't mind um, limping and like trying to like see what options I have post flop. When they donk into the first limp, I don't necessarily think it's that strong, but I also don't have tons of options here. Um, Turning just bluffing it, bluff raising here is, is just gonna cost a huge percentage of stacks. Um, here I'm definitely gonna see bet, and I always like to like think for just a moment before betting to, to make it look like I'm thinking, how can I convince him to call? Uh, I don't know that he necessarily perceives it that way, but I think when you snap bet, it looks like you were just gonna bet your whole range, whereas when you think bet, it's like you may not be betting your whole range. Um, that's just an assumption I'm making that again, not all players are gonna perceive that way or think that way, but that's. It's something to think about in case in case you think it might be relevant to your games as well. And I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna think for just a moment and then bet as though I'm trying to to, to coax him along with me uh, to maybe perhaps add just a hair more fold equity.